Hello everyone. This video sharing about life cycle impact assessment. Illustration of the phase impact assessment. This video have cover about introduction, selection of impact categories, classification, characterization, normalization, grouping, and weighting. Introduction. Phase of life cycle assessment aimed to understanding and evaluation the magnitude and significance of the potential environmental impact of a product system. Requirements of the impact assessment are divided into mandatory and optional elements. Mandatory elements. It is compulsory in life cycle impact assessment. The element of mandatory element are selection of impact categories, classification, and characterization. Optional element. It is optional in life cycle impact assessment, normalization, grouping, and weighting. Mandatory elements. Selection of impact categories. The specifications according to ISO 14044 are to be determined in the first phase, definition of goal and scope, as data procurement in the inventory must guarantee that the required data for the selected impact categories are available. The detailed discussion takes place here, as the scientific background of the consideration of impact categories was discussed. A fundamental examination is necessary whether all inputs and outputs that have been quantitatively considered are able to map to the selected impact categories. If this is not the case there are two possibilities, either the inventory has to be revised or impact categories with insufficient data quality have to be discarded. Because of the absence of a list of impact categories in ISO 14044 mandatory for all LCAs, the selection in each study has to be comprehensible and transparent and must be justified. There are a number of examples for selection of impact categories. Greenhouse, global warming potential, photo oxidant formation, photo smog or summer smog potential, eutrophication potential, acidification potential, classification. The LCI results are organized and combined into the impact categories selected in the selection of impact categories. The classification in each study is accomplished for the selected impact categories. The inventory data are ordered according to their scientifically established contribution to the selected impacts categories. Example of classification for global warming potential of substances considered in the context of the project. Carbon dioxide, CO2 dinitrogen monoxide, N2O, methane, CH4, chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs. Characterization. Characterization factors are used, where possible, in each impact category to combine all of the elementary flows to one indicator for the impact category. For greenhouse gases, the global warming potential for each greenhouse gas is used to combine all greenhouse gases into one indicator, global warming equivalent, expressed in carbon dioxide equivalents. Optional elements. Normalization. Normalization is the indicator scores obtained in the characterization step are normalized by dividing by a reference value. Reference values can be the total emissions or resource uses for a given area, global, regional, or local, or the total emissions resource uses for a given area per capita. Grouping. In the grouping, the indicators are sorted by characteristics such as emissions, air, water, location, local, regional, global, ranking system, high, low, or medium priority. In the last case, value choices regarding what is to be considered a high or low score play an important role, and transparency regarding the procedure used is essential. Weighting. The weighting assigns relative values to the various impact categories based on perceived importance. Although scientific procedures may be used, multiple criteria analysis, the weighting factors obtained are not strictly scientific. At best, they correctly reflect the preferences of the stakeholders considered in the scientific procedure. Now, time for quiz. Global warming, eutrophication, and acidification are a. A form of characterization of environmental impact. B. Methodologies of environmental impact. C. Categories of environmental impact. D. A form of classification of life cycle assessment. The answer is A. A form of characterization of environmental impact. That all for sharing about illustration of the phase impact assessment. Thank you for watching.